Chuby Chube. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get that name wrong. <laughs> oh, you can't just say a name like that while I'm mid-drinking my Snapple. <laughs> I didn't come up with their name. I almost died. <laughs> Welcome to the Kindred Spirit Podcast, a show all about the board game Spirit Island. Here we'll talk about analytics and strategies within the game, as well as a plethora of other topics that can be found within it. Today we close out this little impromptu all-star series. You've heard our teams and the data, but now it is time to look at all of your comments. Little, this was like three episodes. I know. Who saw this coming? <laughs> On the grand scheme. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> So we're going to go directly right into the comments first and foremost in a second. Uh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> wait, what? It's kind of like an oxymoron. Yeah. Thing. And hold up. When you are recording and in the business of recording, it's very often that you can go and listen back to an episode, look back at a broadcast or something, and you can, in the moment, when you're recording it, it's very common that you thought that you hit every single point, mm. but then when you look back, you're like, oh man, I never made this point, or maybe you saw something you could clarify or something. I have these notes, and half the time, I'm like, I didn't even say half of this stuff. Why do I even type out notes? <laughs> right. Right. And so it is at opportunities like these where before I start the content of this current episode, mm-hmm. if I wanted to repair, amend, or add onto any sentiments I said in a previous episode, right at the beginning would be the perfect time to start. You could ask, well, hey, why don't you go and just tack it on to the appropriate episode? Well, sometimes I don't catch this thing until like a week after it aired yeah. or several months after it aired. I was like, oh, crap. Anyway, <laughs> regarding episode five, <laughs> <laughs> for those of you who remember that, <laughs> Here we are at episode 41. <laughs> anyway, remember when we said this one thing? We got that wrong. Okay. <laughs> anyway, so last episode, I was listening back to it, and we were talking about bringer of dreams and nightmares. Mm. And what I'm about to describe isn't something that we've only described last episode, but it was something that reminded me of this. I was like, you know what? Did some digging, and there was a edge case curiosity that I wanted satiated that I found the answer for. Okay. And And I thought that it would simply be beneficial to announce this little clarification about bringer of dreams and nightmares. Not that if I didn't, there would be a big problem or whatever, but Mm -hmm. in the verbiage that I have used in the past when regarding bringer of dreams and nightmares, one of the things I've always said is, oh, you know, they have a whole problem with the physical realm thing. Sure. And, you know, they can't kill people. Because, I mean, it's in their name, right? Right, it's in their name. Dreams, nightmares. so, right, logically, I always made the conclusion that they are are not in our realm. They exist, mm-hmm. but they're more ethereal than they are physical, that kind of thing. And for, honestly, the majority of understanding that character, that's fine. That's salient. That is totally an acceptable thing to understand. But there's a helpful clarification that I think could be, and I think should be made, just to help people be a little bit more educated on the entirety of Bringer of Dreams and Nightmares. Okay. So there was an interesting question that was brought up with, hey, wait a minute. I understand understand that bringer of dreams and nightmares can't kill people cool i got it yes this means that instead of killing bad guys they scare them they run away in a tizzy cool got it this also means that any cards that would do dahan friendly fire you get to ignore awesome cool get it very useful secretly kind of a buff like that's really yeah there's a lot of really cool cards out there that right in their pricing and gating and their own balance have dahan friendly fire as a thing and so the fact that you can ignore that is actually really dope. However, what about the cards that add tokens or move tokens like Blight or Beasts or that kind of thing? Because aren't those physical things? Yeah. Sure, I'm not killing bad guys or killing Dahan, but but that's a physical thing. Beast is a physical thing. Right. Now, of course, if you look at their board, you'll be just fine because, oh, hey, I can't kill people. This isn't killing people. I'm good. But thematically, if you hear the words, they can't affect the physical realm, yet 
yet I'm pushing a token that's kind of physical. Mm. It's kind of like this jarring theme, like, wait, what? Good question. So the question was asked, what is the story? What's the clear truth, the actual truth behind playing cards as bringer of dreams and nightmares that involve maybe like wild tokens sure. or maybe they move beasts or spawn beasts or maybe they add blight or they move blight or remove it, that kind of thing. So how can these physical elements be manipulated by Bowden if Bowden actually can't interact with the physical realm? Well, luckily, we do have an answer for you. The man himself, Eric Royce, actually <laughs> lent his voice to this. Ooh, he weighed yeah. in. So if you want some official credibility, here it is. <laughs> So somebody came up with the idea that it's probably for balance. Why is it that you can still play a card even with the fact that it doesn't kill humans and yet it still will add blight? That's the case. Drought you, would be incredible with Bringer. Right. <laughs> if you do play Drought, you will still add blight. Okay. That's the truth. But why if they can't interact with the physical realm? Hmm. Well, here's the answer. The primary concern is balance and simplicity. Though I'll note that thematically, Bringer of Dreams and Nightmares actually can affect physical reality. It can cause disease, add beasts, clean up blight, push invaders via non-psychological means, ergo sweep into the sea, for example. They can lay down wardings. They can make the land overgrown or poisoned or animated, etc. However, Bringer of Dreams and Nightmares is just limited to transformation rather than out outright destruction, particularly regarding humans. Adding Blight is at the borderline between transformation versus destruction. Thematically, it can represent either or both, but game balance means that it really needs to be parsed as the former rather than the latter. Hmm. So, for example, a power like Volcanic Eruption. After repeatedly dreaming ever increasingly vivid dreams of a horrifying eruption, the residents wake up one day to find that the land is broken and covered with ash. So do you remember that one truth when it comes to matter and energy, even in real life, like physics and thermodynamics, yeah. where energy cannot be created or deleted, it has to be transformed? It just is changed into something right. else. Right. So energy and matter is transferred from yeah. one thing to a next. So for instance, if I light a piece of wood on fire, it doesn't just go... And just delete itself. But the wood is gone. Right. The energy will transfer into thermal energy, yep. heat, as the wood is consumed and it turns to ash. It's been transformed from one thing to the next. Eating food is right. being you changed in our body. You process it from food. Your body strips it of all nutrients. Yep. And then you get rid of it there later. And so... Gross. <laughs> <laughs> I worded it <laughs> yeah, yeah, what in is, a safe way. Nicely done. What I'm trying to say is the idea of transfer as okay. opposed to just simple, straight up kill or create, that mm. kind of thing. So Bringer may not be able to just straight up kill or create, but it can take something that already exists mm. and they can tweak it. That's so, actually kind of cooler when you yeah, think about it. Yeah, I think it. it's kind of cooler. Yeah, I like that. So was this a necessary clarifying thing? Maybe not, but I Will just... this ever come up in a game where <laughs> someone's like, wait a second. Maybe, I don't maybe, know. Maybe, but... Could be. Edge case. But the thing is, is simply understanding that might help you with your understanding of certain cards. Like that one player who is saying, hey, wait, if they don't interact with the physical realm, how do they do all yeah. this token manipulation stuff? Well, here's it's your answer. It's a legitimate answer. question. Yeah. But it still lends to the theme. That's what's so great right. about this game. And so I want to make sure that I do my part to keep myself accountable as someone who is speaking about this game because the thing is, is I've been on the receiving end of someone who is a content creator who spoke a errant piece of information. And I'm positive that they were unaware that their information was errant mm -hmm. but that affected me as I taught that information to other people that was errant and once I found out that I was wrong in a certain thing I was like ah I regarded their information as credible when I should have been looking at the book and so there's a responsibility that I think we have that I'm very careful of and I want to be increasingly careful about such That's, kinds of yeah. information to do my part to make sure that the information I'm giving as it relates to the accuracy of representing this game mm -hmm. as it's been designed and published to be the most correct, accurate version of itself as possible. So I want to still be able to make jokes. I 
want to be able to use fun slang things, but ultimately I want to broadcast the truth here. And so this is simply a truth. Mm -hmm. May it be as applicable as how to play fast versus slow? Probably not. Yeah. But you get the idea. So that's all. I've been teaching the rules wrong from Monopoly my entire life. (laughs) Do you know when you land on a space, even if you don't buy it, then it goes to like a public Mm -hmm. auction? No one plays it that way. The auction? The auction. People are just like, it's actually a faster game (laughs) if everyone just publicly buys into it. Whenever I see someone pass on something and they say, all right, so it goes up for auction. I'm like, ah. So I see you are a man of culture as well. (laughs) (laughs) Cheers. I'll be like, tink. (laughs) Indubitably. (laughs) We make a toast with our martini glasses. There's like some edge case rules. I think Uno, there's a one rule that everyone gets wrong too. There's like all these things where people just like make house rules and then completely get the game wrong. Man, you brought up Uno. Both Monopoly and Uno can shatter friendships and break families. Uno has done it. Yeah, it's can get oh, and Dutch Blitz. <laughs> <laughs> draw two. Draw two again. <laughs> Skip. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so with all that out of the way, let's go and actually get into the comments here. Those thoughts, mm-hmm. were they from the original Discord or the new one? <laughs> no! Rest in peace, old Discord! <laughs> 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 I'm saluting you. Oh. I'm sad all those fractured arguments I and broken sacrifice <laughs> arguments lost forever. Forever. The pin comment. <laughs> So many of you are probably confused, but now since John brought that up, we have to... Okay, now we have to <laughs> talk about it. it. So the Spirit Island Discord was a thriving community full of public discourse. It was a forum for so much discussions, mm-hmm. and whether it be for asking questions on rules or maybe people talking about ideas for new things in yeah. the future or just general conversation. Or just like playing the game. game. Yeah. Right, yeah. There was such a great place, and it was simply the Discord server for Spirit Island. Mm-hmm. It was a public server that anyone can go to, and... And it's very common that fans of anything in this life have a Discord yeah. or a Reddit that you can go to. This game is no <laughs> exception. However, dark days were in the future for the Discord. No. For lo, a hacker arrived. <laughs> or something. I can't quite remember. <laughs> the Discord went down. Just we lost in it. a blip. Beep. When it comes to these like Reddit or Board Game Geek or just any public forum, yeah. I'm definitely a lurker. I will scan and look at these things all the time. Every night I look at them, mm-hmm. but I don't really usually always comment. You're also a very busy person. Oh so it's not <laughs> and not to say anyone who is able to comment. But it's faster to read than get involved. Exactly, because so. you honestly have so much going on. Yep, and sometimes I do. Sure. When, but point being, like, it's definitely a symptom of my introverted nature to mm-hmm. just spectate. And I like to people watch anyway. That's just the kind of person I am. You're a lot more... Or like I get in the fight. Yeah. <laughs> Come at me, bro. <laughs> Let's go. Anyway, point being, so I was doing my end of day checkup on the Discord, uh, and uh, it wasn't there. Uh, I was like, what? Did I get kicked out? <laughs> For a second, I thought that someone banned me or something. Like, it's like, I don't even talk on this thing. <laughs> I don't even talk on this thing. I was like, all right, who did I offend? Yeah, or like, what thing did I say? Who did I call out? It was the bringer <laughs> comment. <laughs> like, well, no! they are physical. <laughs> so I texted you. I said, hey, uh, is everything going all right with the Discord? And then you sent me simply the link of here's what's going on. <laughs> and here's the new one. Turns out it died. Yeah. And so thankfully, really quick, I'll come in here with the good news. A new Discord has taken its place. I'm not sure how temporary this one will be, but if you go to just Spirit Island Discord, you'll find it. Yep. And so we still have the same crowd of peeps. They're rebuilding it as we speak. We're going through our growth pick two I know. Phase. <laughs> <laughs> We're growing again. So we had to downsize for like a yeah. day. And so there was time passes. <laughs> we're getting things back online. We needed to construct additional pylons. <laughs> so, <laughs> Starcraft 2 anyway? <laughs> but we're back. But it's back. So anyway, that's what he was referring to. The fact that although a new one has taken its place and we're getting things back online. I say we. I have nothing to do with it. I still learn. <laughs> the people who are in charge of it are getting yes. back in there. So Arya and... Bone White. Bone White. MJ. And MJ. Yes, our people. MJ. I love you. <laughs> anyway, so that is what his comment was about. So anyway, we've wasted enough time. I love what we said. We're going to get right into it. But right first, into this, it. And you had to later. bring that up. So like, all right. So now it's the third thing. But... Did we play Taps? <laughs> 
<laughs> the flag is lowered at half mast. That's right. We play taps. That's okay, right. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and check out everyone's comments about their all star teams. Now, I will say, as a clarification, since we got bombarded with so much stuff, we're not going to go over every single comment when regarding comments that just simply gave the team and that's it. Because if we were to list out every single team, like just here's my attacker, here's my defender, here's my controller. Cool. Yeah. All right. And then we would do another one. Here's my attacker. Here's my defender. Oh, oh nice. that's a new oh, one. Okay. Yeah, maybe they yeah. substituted one. Yeah, I like serpent. It would get so repetitious and boring, and I don't mean that offensively, but you, the listener, are who we're thinking of, and it would be really repetitious. And so that is why I ardently, ardently advise that you guys check out the lists themselves. Mm-hmm. In episode 40, we left a link in the description so you can go ahead and look at all of the sites that we had the surveys on so yeah. you could look at it for yourself. Because when you have over 100 comments, and a lot of those comments are just a simple list that doesn't translate well to an audible medium that we have here yeah so anyway every vote got counted every vote got read we factored in every single one i don't want you to think that we're ignoring anyone we appreciate all of them every single one but we do want to make sure that this isn't like a five-hour episode of just saying names (laughs) of people (laughs) thunder speaker finder bringer Bringer. green Fractured. Nice. Next. Okay. Shifting memory. Oh. oh. Green. Oh, what fractured. We just do an episode of that. What? That's all we did. Oh, that'd be so boring. <laughs> all right. Enough. Okay. I am so done with all these qualifiers. Let's get into it. Baracko says, for their attacker, Volcano. Although I think there are other good options, such as Thunderspeaker, Ocean, or Fangs, I went with Volcano. Hey, Volcano is absolutely fantastic. We saw Volcano get high up yep. within the top five of the yep. offense. For control, finder. That's all what they're about. But I much prefer river for control. Ooh, see, this one was actually hard for me to tally yeah. in the vote. Ah. I gave it to finder. But there I'm you like, go. It sounds like they want river. This is actually something that I respect a lot when someone doesn't ignore truth mm-hmm. in light of their preference. So, like, they know that finder's the best, even though they themselves prefer river. Okay. I actually really respect that. Yeah, it's like admitting When someone's to it. able to admit a truth, even if they personally don't like it, that kind of thing. Our first episode, of the All-Stars. It was mm-hmm. a funny way you phrased it. You're like, I know you know, John, that Thunderspeaker is the best, but I know you also know that you are not good at the... It was just fun. Like, mm-hmm. I know that you know that I know. Right, right, right. It's like <laughs> something like this. Yep. Like, I know Finder is the mm-hmm. best, but I might prefer River. Mm-hmm. For fear, I had Bringer. Ah! But Many Minds is also so amazing with fear generation. Yes. But it has other great attributes. Very true. Yep. For my defender, Trickster. I like this one. Nice. The Strife mechanic is amazing. I don't think I ever got blighted with Trickster. Wait, what? Didn't get a single blight against Sweden 6. Although Stone is another option. They must be getting so wow. lucky with overenthusiastic arson. Yeah, no I can fire tell you. elements. Nice. <laughs> nice. I can tell you one thing for sure. Someone had to have been using Flare for Discord. Oh, oh right. Yeah, yes. Putting out all the extra. <laughs> was, how did you not? That's play? awesome. Well, well done. Yeah, well, well done. done. For utility, green. Yes. Because everybody needs to clear the presence <laughs> track. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Y'all, you can't see it, but John's fighting so much expressions <laughs> behind his face. <laughs> I'm grimacing. I it's know. more Card? He's about to like Hulk out on me here. <laughs> but there are other options for utilities, such as fractured or shifting memory. Uh, Baraka was thinking of me when they said That's that. That's right. Okay. Very well said. Very well said. I do really like Trickster there. Next comment comes from Ice Frio. Oh. Oh, <laughs> real quick, quick sidebar. Ray Lamo started following us on Instagram. Mm-hmm. Their name isn't Ray Lamo. <laughs> It's Raleigh Mo. R- Raleigh Mo. So ironically, that's something I could have told you because of how it was spelled. I've never seen the name spelled because I always take the Board Game Geek Facebook comments. Uh, yes, you do. You guys take the Reddit, <laughs> the Reddit comments. So I never read that one. I was just thinking, like, did you follow us on Instagram just to correct me? <laughs> hey, man, you gotta get the name right, dude. Have fun gardening, Raleigh Mo. <laughs> Pick out those weeds. <laughs> Come on, man. Did we just lose yeah. a list? <laughs> Come on. I'm, no, I'm so bad at phonetics. <laughs> yeah. I don't no, know. seriously. If I saw that name, I was like, yeah, dude, that's Raleigh. I don't like think... Like Raleigh, North Carolina. Hello. I don't even think I like sound out things when I see words anymore. It's just like... Right. I see them. When I see the word book, I just know it's book. Right. I don't right. like sound out and book. No, dude, you're totally fine. So many people have admitted that they ain't so great with names. And I'm someone I'm who... terrible with them. Right. As someone who's been a narrator, voice actor, and have been on the actual radio yep. reading scripts. 
tips on knowing how to read certain words is very common to me. So, and I'm illiterate. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm trying to hide it. <laughs> I'm sorry, Raleigh Ball. <laughs> sorry, Raleigh Ball. <laughs> Don't let his sins get in the way of your... <laughs> Keep listening. Oh, and get back to work. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, ice frio. Now I'm going to roll my R's. Right on. <laughs> okay. Right on. I would go offense, volcano, but maybe yeah. immense lightning. Ooh. These were so hard for me to tally. I'm yeah. like, I'm just going to give it a volcano. <laughs> but it's like, don't throw me these things. <laughs> I could go this way or that way. Defense, rampant green, no question. Mm-hmm. All that prevention. Oh, yeah. And obviously defense built oh, yeah. in their kit. Control, finder. Oh, yeah. Utility, Fracture Days, and Fear Bringer. I think the only category I could be swayed on would be offense, since not too many spirits are purely offensive or mm. built that way, yeah. or super focused on offensive mm-hmm. power. Curious to see other opinions, though. Yeah, no, that's totally fair. There are so many multifaceted spirits, and hardly anyone commits to one category. I guess there really only is Finder. Right. And even then, you could make an argument, well, there's utility with the right. movement and range Seriously, buffs. Yeah. And I don't think there is a No, spirit. and that's one of the things that I said. When it came to fear, offense, and defense, there are so many people that could fit in that role that I'm very curious to see how it was. Control and utility, I pretty much knew what the top three were going to be. Yeah. Which is fine. This yeah. is also not a problem. But defense, And you fear, guessed that in our first right, episode. You said, offense, like, bringer, finder, guaranteed. Pretty much, yeah. yeah. Are all going to be categories that, hey, it's up for debate. Star Wars Board Gamer comes in and says, for offense, vengeance. <gasps> Just like what you had done. I had vengeance. Yeah. Not as limited in presence as Volcano or Ocean. They don't need their presence. <laughs> <laughs> they want it to burn. Right. And I still don't really get Wildfire that mm. well. Totally fair. For Control, Finder. I haven't played with this one yet, but I know it deserves to be here. (laughs) I have two comments. First one, I would direct Star Wars to go and listen to our Habsburg episode where, Ryan, you really break down some of your tactics and what you did to make that game against Habsburg just really a walk in the park. Mm -hmm. And I think Wildfire is tricky for some people. Mm -hmm. And then for Finder, just play them. I think there really you can't go wrong, just move things around. And then there's really no wrong build with Finder. Mm -hmm. For Fear... Bringer. I don't think anyone cannot pick Bringer for fear. Well, I'll have you know that we exist. For defense, we have... <laughs> oh, there's two in this room. <laughs> but no. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. No, my point last time still stands, which is it depends on how you're doing your list. If you're doing synergies, I don't think Bringer's <laughs> going to be as popular as other people who fit better synergistically. If you're not doing mm-hmm. synergies, oh yeah, Bringer all the way. When I first came in the room to record <laughs> this, I'm like, Ryan, were we too mean to Bringer last week? <laughs> no, I think it's totally fair because I reminded you that, hey, we're not the ones who make Bringer always bottom five in all these surveys. That's all of you. Ooh, point the finger back at the list. <laughs> it's your fault. Truth is truth. And I've had nothing to do with any of those polls. We don't vote so those. We don't vote on those. So. You don't have to contend with me. Contend with the rest of them. Look at yourself in the mirror. <laughs> I'm starting with the man in the mirror. <laughs> right on. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so for defense, Star Wars board gamer had stone. I just don't care about blight anymore. <laughs> that's, that's basically stone. That's their version of yeah, defense. I couldn't have summed it up any other way. For utility, green. Well, just- time out. I feel like if stone and earth are ever playing a game together, earth's like, hey, stone, how much are you defending the land for? And stone's just like, what? <laughs> <laughs> that meme where that monkey Muppet just kind of like awkwardly looks. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Defend the land. Uh, yeah. So- she, uh, defending the land. Right. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Definitely yeah, doing yeah, that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. There's like, totally. I'm defending seven over here. No blights come through. <laughs> Kicks the seven <laughs> blight behind him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Definitely defending. Yeah, definitely defending. Yeah. <laughs> All right, cool, cool, cool. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Gives a thumbs up from like 200 yards. He's good. He's How you doing it. over there, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, for utility, green. Just boosting other spirits to their full potential is reason enough, mm-hmm. but also has great defense too. Yep, totally, yep. totally agree. As an extra pick, many minds. This is one of my favorite spirits. They're high in control, Definitely. defense, or fear, so they can go in any one of those things. That's a good one, and they popped up in a couple yeah, times in our different top fives yep. within those when categories. When in doubt for any of those categories, many minds. Many minds is good. Hey, just don't bring them to an offensive <laughs> thing. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe the events can help you out. That's true. 
Next one, true Mr. Foo. Hey! Utility has to be shifting memory. They have mm. so much flexibility. They do. To be what the team needs. All of their starting cards are supportive and they can help out anyone hits elemental thresholds. Mm. True Mr. Foo didn't give any others, but they just wanted to make sure that utility <laughs> was shifting memory. No, that's totally fair. The flexibility that they have is probably their greatest strength. And like you were saying, whatever element someone needs, they can go get. Yeah. It's like, oh, I just need more fire to hit pillar of living flame mm -hmm. i need to hit my elemental threshold on right. this or my innate and yeah shift me is like sure i got it yeah Air, i got you here you go yeah yep flexibility is an interesting one because it's easily their greatest strength and it's also their greatest weakness because at the game start depending on what adversary you're fighting like maybe it's an adversary that really comes out of the gate fast yeah and you're like hey look i uh don't have any cards that can like do anything. <laughs> so that's the thing. I'm not saying they're a weak spirit by any oh, means. No. But they, they have... can yeah. be anything. Mm. So it's all about what you find. Because they haven't made any of our top fives for the Maybe. adversaries. Right. We never saw Starlight no. either. I don't know if we're going to. We'll see. We'll I see. guess. <laughs> but it is hard to rank those type of spirits. It's true. It's true. So Floating World comes in and says, all right, I got two lists. One for myself, one for a friend of mine who I talked to. Sweet. Oh, cool. Cool. Nice. For myself, for offense, Thunderspeaker. Chose them over Keeper because they're more consistent. But if Keeper gets a good major, then they're better. Yeah, they can afford it. Yeah. That's for sure. It's funny that Keeper, again, didn't make any of the mm -hmm. categories in the top five. No mm -hmm. one voted for Keeper. That's true. Or, I mean, some people did, but just, like, not enough to make the top five. Right. That was interesting. For me, personally, the reason why you didn't see Stone or Keeper is because I consider them counterattackers. Uh, as opposed to just straight-up attacker yeah. or straight-up defender. So there's nowhere for counterattackers to go. Do you see what I mean? Like, yeah. that's a role that's interesting, and only three people really exemplify that, in my opinion. Sure, pretty much anyone can do it if you find the right cards, of but course. Stone, Keeper, and Serpent, to me, are counterattackers defenders. Anyway, for my defense, I had green. Good defense innate, but prevention is even better. You've been on that since yep. the beginning. That sentence perfectly summarizes it. Good defense innate, but prevention is even better. Defend Bam, two? Done. Defend Sign four? Sign delivered. I could extrapolate. We have in the past, but I don't technically need to. Yep. That's it. That's green in a nutshell. For control, finder. Come on. They're all about control. <laughs> However, river is a close second. Definitely. Yep. Hey, I had river on my team. Yeah. Yep. River's I, phenomenal. Yes, I know that Finder can do more, but River can kill stuff. Finder have you can seen do Master more. Flooding? Yeah, I was about to say, River is just so tried and true. Right, but I did have a theme that I was going That's for. That's true. I needed Wetland users and Dahan users, and River being able to spawn Dahan is kind of like, it's awesome. Amazing. So, it's really good. For fear, bringer. Enough said. For utility, <laughs> fractured days. Green is better. <laughs> <laughs> It's like they're trying to spite me. <laughs> but I prefer Fractured Days. There you go. Green is not better. But they already had green on the team. <laughs> That's true. You get green, 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 green. Hey, they were close. All right, 3%. <laughs> All right, here's my friends list. They had Thunderspeaker. Mm. Sweet. For defense, green. Totally see it. Yeah. For control, finder. But he prefers river. For fear, bringer. Well, this looks and similar. It's identical. <laughs> and utility, green. And, wait, what? <laughs> green is covering both defense and utility. It's you a four-person team. Four-person four person team. team. Yeah, that's four all, person team. You can only have four people show up. <laughs> However, he added that Lure would be number three for offense oh. after Thunderspeaker and Keeper. And number two for control. Maybe even ahead of River. I always forget about them since they work differently. <laughs> <laughs> I think Lure might be one of the best controllers in the game. And they made the top three in control. Honestly, I can see that argument. They can obviously gather things in. They have that crazy song softly beckon ever inward and then being able to downgrade a city like you said what do you call it efficient city movement or whatever it's called functional city functional movement, right. you're not moving the, the city, city but you're breaking it down as it's a city but you break it down and you move the bad guy that it just turned into you're right oh so, like the city be, was right. there one turn now the city is relocated in another well it's not there but the people that made right. up that city are now elsewhere i can entertain the argument that they are one of yep. the top controllers definitely yep. yep i see it definitely because of their whole like mini black hole effect that they can grab yeah. in like all these various people mm -hmm. reminds me of draw the fruitful earth honestly definitely yep oh yeah another earth mm -hmm. part. the tommy man comes in to say hey. heart of the wildfire close second to lure the deep wilderness for oh. offense whoa lure, i did not expect again. lure to get like i know lure is like across the board when it comes it's to good at everything right all the things yeah when it comes to control fear defense offense like they're pretty solid across the board for control, finder. For of fear, course. 
Ocean. Oh. Definitely generates more fear per game than Bringer. Whoa. <laughs> the gauntlet has been thrown. And this is what kind of started a whole series of comments <laughs> on the Reddit post. People were like, no! <laughs> But this got spicy <laughs> in the page if people want to go see it. If you're going by fear per turn, if you're going by average instead of total, mm-hmm. I think Ocean would have a better fear average per round. I'm getting five, six it. fear each turn, where Bringer's like, I did 30 this one. Yeah, like, what'd you do before that? Right. It's like, oh, I got two or three. <laughs> I always made the claim, and even when we talked to Eric, I actually mentioned this. This was off the year, but one of the reasons why I always thought and rationalized the fact that Ocean had so significantly high fear game while Bringer didn't have as high was because Ocean doesn't have a card that lets them defend for as much fear as they cause in a certain land. Bringer's the only one that can do that. So that's something that you have to keep in balance when it comes to Bringer. For defense, spread of rampant green, yes. but a close second to stone. Once again. And then this one is where it gets interesting for me. Hmm. For utility... River. Mm. One of the few, but there were oh, a couple of yeah. river utility. Yeah, it's got to be Vigor. Boon of Vigor. Yeah. Making to Han? Making to Han, yeah. Pretty good. Yeah, no, De- it's for good. For defensive spirits yeah. or something? No, it's true. And then, this was funny, by your powers combined, I am Keeper of the Forbidden Wilds. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, yeah, I am Keeper's all of this. <laughs> hey! <laughs> but I didn't include that into an official vote. I guess I could have made like Keeper into all of them, but I thought that was a pretty unique team with River being utility. Yeah, I like it. I like it too. I like it. Ruidan comes in and says, for my offense, Lightning. Also, they have nice utility. Hey, yo. Lightning's boon. Lightning's boon. Lightning's boon. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. One of the <laughs> Absolutely top. Absolutely insane. Top team buffing cards. One of those cards who's like, hey, do you have it? Hey, do you have it? Hey, do you have it? <laughs> Please. And don't encourage Lightning to go into a cycle. <laughs> <laughs> they already have that trap. <laughs> it's a slippery slope. <laughs> For defense, they had stone. No problem with blight. And they have high offense. Mm-hmm. Yep. Which is very nice. Like I said, very high defense and offensive character. It is a nice combo. Mm-hmm. Defense more in the long-term game play style, but I've fleshed out that point ad nauseum. So Lore likes to play stone a lot. Sure. And it is very true that their defense is different and they just ignore Blight. Mm -hmm. I will say one thing that we need to remember. I know this is like all hypothetical and just like I'm just building this team. Right. A Blight Cascade with stone on your team can be (sighs) game ending. Seriously. If the wrong Blight goes through, the wrong event pops up and you're like, hey guys, we've been doing great on Blight because it's been coming from the box. But if it's like a domino effect, tic-tac-toe of just like, all of a sudden there's nine blight being, and yeah. this cascades. Right. He's the got, thing I'm is, letting is everyone be wary of that. can hold on and Ugh, hold them fast. Hold them back. But the moment <laughs> that one gets through that you're not able to stop. <laughs> <laughs> the one crack. Right, that, right. That just breaks. You are the holding whole, it all together with duct tape. The, the whole glass shatters from like <laughs> yes, one yes, crack. Yes. And then just one goes through. Beep, boom. Is it true that, like you said, stone prolongs the game, has a great form of yep. defense? Yes, yep. but that has a it's double not perfect. edge. No, yeah. it's not. Yeah. So, for control, they have finder. That's their job. Yep, 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 yep. For fear, mist. Yes! Whoa! Combines really well with green and in a big five-player game. Yes! It is! Yes! It Utility green! What? Yes! What's going on? Boosting other spirits and strong ability to cancel actions. Yeah! Did you talk to them? <laughs> yes. yes. You're having an effect on the community. <laughs> no, hey, mist. They had lightning for offense. I'm happy to see mist at the top of people's yeah. list. Yep. It Same. is an underappreciated spirit, mm-hmm. for sure. But the fear, like, oh, yeah. I earned five fear during time passes. Wait, what? Right. You were talking last episode about how you were looking at Shadow's hand of cards and they had the most amount of fear at eight. And yes. second was Fangs with six and yeah. so on. And it made me think, because I was like, well, were you looking at just the cards? Because they're innates. A lot of people just, have I, fear coming in from innates. I was looking at just the <laughs> Or special rules or something. A, and by the way, that's totally fine. I was just with, like... With Shadows, you have to make these like unique <laughs> arguments. <laughs> <laughs> kind of got to dance make around. Look good, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> kind of <laughs> really pretty them up. <laughs> it's in the same way that they have all these sports statistics. Yeah. You know, when this guy is throwing left-handed on a rainy Tuesday <laughs> after his wife gave him Chipotle the night before. He never misses, yeah. <laughs> while wearing red socks. <laughs> Only throw strikes. 
he hits 83% of the time. Oh. <laughs> and that's what I did with Shannon. Like, all of these, like, what? If like, you only count stats? three of their cards. <laughs> <laughs> and nothing else. And nothing else. And you don't then... compare anyone else's. Definitely don't look at the tracks. <laughs> don't look at that energy track at all. <laughs> Once again, just hiding that under the curtain. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, look over yeah. here. They're the best fear spirit. <laughs> but yeah, Miss can earn a lot yeah. of fear. And it's because that's in the innate. Yeah. You know, and where does a lot of lures fear come in? Come in decently from their innate. Where yeah. Whereas Pandemonium Lightning Sphere comes in. That innate. Like just Bringer, the special right rules. rules. Yeah. Right, right. So that's just a fun thing that I... No, I just had a unique argument with that. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Anyway, Dead Service comes back and hey. says... They give two lists. Oh. One that seems like the standard list. Okay. But then a second list that seems a little more oh. spicier. Is that like the one that they preferred in their bones yes. for funsies? Yes. But the other one was like knowledge? So here's the first like no-duh type list. Offense, wildfire. Mm-hmm. Control, finder. Yep. Fear, bringer. Totally. Defense, stone. Sure. Utility, serpent. Right on. Now let's get... <laughs> let's get to... Rapid the... fire. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. <laughs> now let's get to Dead Service's fun list. Oh, Offense lure another wow. one. What is Dang. going on? I know, and offense it feels isn't like t- even like lure's best thing. It feels like fun five all over again. Like <laughs> what lures? Everyone's again. favorite spirit. <laughs> but that's fine. Earlier I said that their defense is pretty much on par. You'll notice that the summary power defense is pretty low. But yeah. I consider the fact that if you're controlling people really well, the form of prevention, like you said with finder, that kind of defense yeah. is actually quite good because you can be like yoink, yeah. pull people in. They're no longer there in their own land to do bad stuff. And that way, I think the defense is pretty good. Sorry. Carry on. For their control, River, I feel yes. like this was another one that I'm getting a sense of where people are saying, I almost have to say Finder, but I right. like River. Right, right. I can destroy Officially, stuff. I have to <laughs> say this, but I prefer this one. But River, because... But River. Metaphatic. <laughs> 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 River's bounty. <laughs> For Fear, Ocean, another ocean-loving uh, fear. More ocean. <laughs> 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 you like when Laura uh, plays ocean. I would love it when she plays ocean yep for defense many mines oh yeah oh yeah you yep. can't argue that one nope hey laura had that too <laughs> yeah that's true and then for utility fracture ooh, ooh, there ooh, you go fracture. you got yeah. your there's one of them 33 <laughs> percent hey mcgaller comes in and says very interesting question although it's a difficult one hmm. I think the difficulty is that the best in its category might not necessarily be the best for an all-star team composition of five because of being too specialized and not allowing for so much synergy. So I will split my answer into two parts. This sums up your feelings on the yep. first part of this series. Yep. Exactly. Mm-hmm. All righty. So best spirit in each category looks like this. For offense, it's Volcano. Mm-hmm. For defense, it's Downpour or Stone, although that's more like, thanks, but I don't really need to defend. <laughs> yep. Very true. For Control, Finder. For Fear, Bringer. And Utility, Fracture Days. Can't argue with any of those. Right. While this is all fine and good, my second list is good representatives for each category that I think would make up a superstar team of five with great synergy. And you talked about this. If you're bringing, say, a sports team together, Mm -hmm. you are thinking of how the team works together. Right. How the shortstop works with that second baseman, how the pitcher works with the catcher, not just the best pitcher. Right, right. Well, that's a big part of the game of Spirit Island is the cooperative synergy. Yeah. So, you know, I think it's totally fair to make lists for either. So... For their synergistic list okay. for offense is Thunderspeaker. Doesn't even have the maximum in offense in the summary of powers, but the capability to deal damage is just ridiculous. Ridiculous. Yep. If well paired with the amazing Dahan control. And unlike my pick above for the best in offense, which was Volcano, you don't risk screwing up someone else's game by adding Blight or killing Dahan if you happen to have other spirits in the game that don't like that to happen. That's an interesting thought. Yeah. Thunder Speaker isn't as disruptive. Sometimes the Blight can ruin someone's time. If you're a Sharp Fangs player, you're like, uh, I wanted to go into that land. Mm-hmm. Or if you were a Dahan user, you'd be like, oh, I needed those. And mm-hmm. you'd destroy them if you're an earth uh, player you're like yeah those were my i've sword. had those games yeah where i've seen people like hey can i use those to hunt sorry <laughs> and they're covered in mold. this rock. is why lore's team was so interesting <laughs> because <laughs> it was team friendly fire it was team- <laughs> and meanwhile thunderspeaker's just like no <laughs> anyway 
For defense, many minds. I do love Downpour's playing style, and I think they have the best defense capability. Yeah. But it can be sometimes a bit frustrating to reduce Dahan counterattack so much. Mm. Many minds can defend well, and with it brings also fear and beasts, and does not risk screwing up anyone else's strategy. That's a good point. I feel it. I think my only counterpoint, it doesn't really need a counterpoint, but my thought is initially many minds has no offense, like right. literally none. Zero offense offense and, then, and yes they use beasts but like that's an ammo that you can use and since no one else can use it unless it's one of the beast peeps yeah. like grinning trickster or lure or shark fangs then it's not going to be as team friendly because i've seen games of downpour where yep. yes they are able to defend and stall but they can then just find a one damage card one damage yep. card or built into their kids right. they can just use foundation sink into mud mm. which is one of their starting cards and mm-hmm. just go wreck all the buildings yep. in a land every spirit has considerations yep. and everyone builds their teams with certain considerations oh. in mind. So, like, this is all just various truths that we, as the players, have to decide the value of. So, I do love many minds, That's though. true. And you are very correct in the fact that they don't have to screw up so much of other people's stuff in regards to... This is a very mindful team. Yes, so I like it. Yeah. I like that. For control, River... Surely no one can do control as Finder can. Mm. But River also has a lot to add to the team in terms of offense and in adding this to Han. This is such a common theme that I'm yes, seeing. Yes, I'm 100% in agreement. You saw that represented in my team as yep. well. That's something that really carried a lot of weight, both Massive Flooding and River's Bounty. For fear, Ocean. Ooh. There are spirits that generate more fear, obviously, but Ocean is also a fear machine. Mm -hmm. Directly and indirectly through the buildings that it can kill. In a five-player game, you won't even have to worry about trying to reach inland because your hands will be full with all the coastal lands that you can easily reach. That's a good point. And And you'll have multiple friends that can cover you. Many mines is super fast fast moving around. Even river can stretch and like form a river inland. Mm Mm-hmm. Utility, green. No. Doesn't even have maximum in utility, but we all know the no. wonders that their utility related card can do, and many other things in the other categories as well. I can't fight it. <laughs> They're right, I can't fight it. Maybe in another day I could have chosen other spirits, but I think this is an example of a team that has great synergy and every category is very well represented. River doing control, but also helping Ocean and Thunderspeaker to maximize their powers. Yes. Many minds doing defense, but also generating fear and and adding beasts to give better luck with events. And green, well, just being green. Yeah. <laughs> Letting others grow. And no one is really hurting each other either. Ocean's damage on Dahan is easily avoidable. Yeah, that's the only real big thing that you might have, but you have River helping you get Dahan out of where they don't need to be. Oh yeah, where can they need gather them in. The Ocean-River combo is a great one. The River- Thunderspeaker. Thunderspeaker combo is a great one. The River-Green combo is a great one. So there's a lot of good things I like seeing here. It reminds me a lot of your team where the couples or the duos or trios are even good right because like, you built your team every combo was good every right. single two-player yep. team and this reminds me of another one like river ocean river thunder speaker mm-hmm. many minds ocean green anyone mm-hmm. so it seems like they really took to what you were building yep. as well yep Alexey Nikovsky comes in to say, Offense, Heart of the Wildfire. Yes! I haven't played a ton, but you get damage just for placing presents. That's so great. This plus the damage dealing innate and the desire to have have fire as a primary element makes wildfire this offensive spirit for me. That's a good point. A lot of like fire element miners and majors are Mm -hmm. damage dealing cards. There's something so honest and genuine about doing damage as fire. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. It's so direct. It's like, yes! Just burning things. Yes. For fear, Bringer. Mm. I know other fear spirits exist, but Bringer is all about fear. It can't... They definitely have the highest seal. Yeah, you can't yep. tap them out. It can't deal damage to things in a traditional way. Mm-hmm. We spoke on that. But it has a whole kit based on fear. Yep. Can't argue that. Yep. And I kind of want to remember for myself also to broadcast on my lips the fact that they can get around to Han Friendly Fire. That's really good. Shouldn't be ignored. Really you know it's good. going to be all the time. It's not going to be there in every card that you play or every game, but still good thing to know. Sometimes it happens just enough for it to matter. Right. 
and they go on to mention that they can also see the upcoming fear cards and that's a big thing it's true and i think that does help them as a fear spirit if you can plan Seriously, around whether playing with bringer on the team or shifting memory on the team being able to prepare and yeah. get ready for an incoming fear card and you're able to make preparations for it oh it's, it's like amazing defend per to hunt in yes. a land it's like oh let's group actually, up to hunt yes get a forecast and yeah. make use of it significantly better i love that for control finder finder can easily shove powers and invaders across a map oh, yeah. enough oh, yeah. set finder will always be able to get the humans exactly where you want them yep Utility, Fractured Days. Fractured Days can manipulate the Invader deck, Event decks, and give extra card plays, make slow powers fast. You know the the list. All the things. It has a whole (laughs) two box of utility. Mm -hmm. For defense, this is what I liked. Vital Strength of the Earth. Yes! I know! Yes! The only spirit that gives defense without using a power. You talked on that. Yes, that's huge. It is just built into their sacred site. Huge. Earth can also skip Invader action and heal Blight in its base kit. Mm-hmm. So I agree Love wholeheartedly. It. I wish we mm-hmm. saw more. I know they made the top five, yep. but it's just good to hear that. Yeah, it's I not agree. a power card. It's right. not an innate that you have to trigger. And it's, it's salient in. on high difficulties. Yes. You don't need to play a high complexity for a high difficulty. No. You can make it work even with low complexity peeps. You've said prevention is good. Skip all actions. That's huge. huge. Especially when they're going to two lands at a time. Yes. So they maybe like double up on one land mm-hmm. and then they're going to the same land with another action. Oh, yeah. And you're like, no, we skipped all the action. And then even with might, I love how utility focused they get. Yeah. They can grow faster. They can play more and cards quicker. get those quicker. repeats out there. Get those repeats. Yeah. I like that yep. too. T. Ips comes back again. T. Ips! That's right. It says, for offense, oh, tough choice. <laughs> I'll choose the War General of Thunderspeaker. Nice. Not only are you an offensive powerhouse, but you also embolden the entire island to take up arms against the invaders. Very cool thematically. It definitely is. This opposed to other offensive spirits that are usually so offensive that they hurt the Dahan in the process, and I have a soft spot for my little mushroom fellows. So I'm seeing a couple of repeats of, like, Finder's yeah. good at control, but River is yep. who I prefer. And yep. then the whole, like, friendly fire damage. People definitely. don't like that. Yeah. Definitely. I'm it's seeing this come up a bunch. Right. Remember when we we were talking about the data we were talking about how i'm very curious to see how people's explanations back up their votes and data mm-hmm. and i think it's really cool to witness that now for defense stone is just the embodiment of defense to me okay you basically make the island and other spirits indestructible to such a degree that the invaders hurt themselves if they even try that's awesome if you're looking for a more tidy kind of defense then many minds is the human bird face that you're <laughs> looking for or base earth for sheer defensive consistency I like that. It's kind of like a different loadout for your defender. Yeah. I think Earth is just consistent. Mm -hmm. One of the most consistent spirits Mm -hmm. out there. For control... Chirp, chirp. <laughs> Little bird emoji. Chirp, chirp, chirp. I mean, the summary of powers <laughs> is spoken. Yeah. Though I would like to make a shout out to Foreboding oh! Shadow. Oh! With the ability to oh! make almost any teammate oh! a control spirit as well. Woo! Woo! Yes! Woo! <laughs> John is elated. He's running laps around the... <laughs> Sit down, sir. One moon. <laughs> Only is one moon and anyone can oh, be a controller. Oh, if you don't know what you one just moon. did, you made him so happy. <laughs> oh, look at that smile. Thank and break down cities. <laughs> they can move stuff with fear. The minor deck has so much fear cards and control cards. Anyway. I feel like it's like the end of Remember the Titans or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, right the We won. <laughs> 100% agree. I'm glad that someone else has vocalized exactly what you've been preaching. You have a follower. They exist. <laughs> we are here. We are here. Like that, all being s- <laughs> that all being said, uh, they still voted for Finder. <laughs> <laughs> but Finder's like your babies. Oh, no, yeah, you can't You're be mad at Finder. It's a win-win. Can't right? be mad at Finder. It's a win-win. For fear, clearly Bringer is fear incarnated. But if I were an invader, I'd probably still prefer that to slowly having my life sapped out of me in a shroud of silent mist. And I can't make an all-star team without somehow including mist. Woo! That was my turn to love me. <laughs> what are you doing? Run, you run, 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 run. Calm down. <laughs> calm down. Calm down, man. <laughs> All right, now it's my turn to get back in. Okay. All right, sit down. Uh, Compose Was myself. it 16 inches away from the microphone? Okay. Oh, man. Oh, whoa, yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Stop leaning in the okay. chair. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> 
For utility, gift of prolifer... I, I mean, sorry. I mean, no. a spread of ribbon cream. No. <laughs> this is the kind of friend you want at your back, helping you to be a better version of yourself instead of telling you what to do. Yeah. Ah, love it. Very true. Honorable mention, Starlight for every category. <laughs> 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 and they have the slot machine emojis. <laughs> Casino Starlight. Who knows? <laughs> I love Jackpot. it. Jackpot. I love it. I love it. <laughs> or you fold. <laughs> Good stuff to you. Good stuff. Many windmills comes in to say. Hey. <laughs> I know them. For offense, sharp fangs. Oh, yes. Yeah, mm. one of our first sharp fangs mentioned. Yes. Love how quick out of the gates the spirit Seriously, yeah. can attack the board. Mm -hmm. Ranging hunt gets all the more devastating as the game goes on. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. frenzied assault can deal with mm -hmm. blighted lands if that ever becomes an issue. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Did you guys talk before, Anderson? <laughs> I'm so happy right now. <laughs> Thunder Speaker gets too clumped up into one spot, in my opinion. Lightning has downturns or gets yep. into loops. Vengeance and Wildfire are tricky for me to play. Volcano and Keeper take time. Something about Fang speaks to me. Well, the thing is, is you have a ribbon that flows through every turn happening every single time with Ranging Hunt happening every single time turn and once you realize how awesome that is as a bedrock a foundation to gameplay mm -hmm. that whatever you do this will always happen it is so great you are always moving beasts you are always doing damage a lot of people are scared about the whole like micromanaging aspect of hey i don't like the fact that i have to get damage with all these tokens that mm -hmm. are moving around and stuff because it's hard to put them it's in the right tricky. place yeah. don't worry it's not so bad because your ability to maneuver them is constant i didn't say consistent i said constant because it's every single freaking turn i've seen you trigger it turn one. Oh, you can trigger it turn one doesn't yeah. mean fully leveled up it turn one no but you can but still yeah. use it turn one From some game start you yeah. are using ranging hunt literally <laughs> now that i think about it i don't think you will ever go a turn without triggering ranging hunt to wow. some capacity i think i'm dead huge. serious yeah and they brought up and again. from like turn two turn three onwards it's like maximum and both of those nades as we've said before do damage mm -hmm. and if there is a blighted land hey frenzy yeah. assault using yep. a beast in there mm -hmm. so they're on your team yep for control Starlight? Oh. oh! Whoa! The air and moon innates yes. are very strong. Yes! Air happening in the fast phase yes. and moon occurring in the slow. Yes. Whoa! I'm like punching the air. You are yes. punching the air! <laughs> this is intense. Basically, no matter what turn it is, you are either stopping a ravage or a yep. build. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. I need to play Starlight more. Mm -hmm. This is getting me hyped. Mm -hmm. For fear, Pandemonium Lightning! Hey! hey! I chose that. Yeah, I was on your team. This one was close for me. Mm -hmm. Many Minds is an extremely close second. Yeah. This aspect of Lightning gets so much fear on top of the fear generated from their cards. Right. True. I have had some huge fear turns from Bringer, but lately that spirit has been hit or miss for me. Yeah. Ooh. I feel it. it's a character that can be eh, underwhelming if you don't have the right rhythm and you yeah. don't have the right card draw. And that can be very unsatisfying. Yeah, it seems like they've been having some rough games to bring her. But that's fine. There's plenty of other fear spirits to play. Mm -hmm. For defense, stone. I like this version of defense. Oh, yeah. Let the yep. damage through and then throw it right back. Right on. Utility. No. <laughs> Spread. <laughs> yeah! Yes! I know gift of proliferation is just one card, but it's the best unique card it in the game. It really is. <laughs> you might be right there, Mini Windmills. <laughs> anyway, that was Mini Windmills. John's just gnashing his teeth there. <laughs> I know, I'm going to need to go to the dentist over here. <laughs> Red Revenge returns to say... <gasps> Red Revenge. That spirits that excel in multiple categories tend to be superior. Oh, I agree. That's you, my personal preference yeah. and opinion as well. You love Jack of All Trades. Totally do. For instance, Ocean, Keeper, Thunder speaker tend to be part of my all-star team despite not being an all-star in any one category. Wow. Well, don't worry. Laura beat you to that. Yeah, kind of she shows <laughs> all those. <laughs> don't feel bad whatsoever. Next one comes from Timothy TG. Mm. I second downpour as a great yes. choice for defense. Mm. My wife usually plays that spirit and she can handle a little more than her board almost every turn. Oh yeah. With some control against weaker adversaries as well. Mm -hmm. I think her best is covering 10 lands in one turn. Nice. Wow. Nice. It struggles yep. to do big defense but can really drench the world. 
I think it can go both ways. You can. It's, it's very much like mist. Yeah. You can go wide, but the wider you go, the lower the numbers are. Yeah. So your defense numbers will go down the wider you spread yourself. Or you can clump or up. Or you could clump up. And so like, you're only in like one or two lands, but those defense numbers like really defend stack. Defend 10 or something. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, it's pandemonium hard. Pandemonium yeah. hard, you old so-and-so. For offense, wildfire. I think its ability to do damage in the growth step makes it unparalleled. Mm. It doesn't always have the biggest numbers, but can make a lot of damage happen in a lot of places. Also, it is technically the only spirit in the game with a power that guarantees destroying all invaders in a single land. So it does have a big nuke, even if it's hard to use. <laughs> that is true. The only spirit that can do that. It was funny. All I was about to make that comment too, because when they made the statement, it doesn't always have the biggest numbers, but it can make a lot of damage happen a lot of places like well they do have you know the only infinite damage <laughs> <laughs> they have both and that's what makes no, them so incredible true. no yeah. seriously it's awesome now you do have to work up to it it's not like a quick access thing that's easy but as any highest right. tier yeah. innate but it's something is. you can yeah do. you yep. can achieve it yep. oh yeah <laughs> shadows is like at least you can hit <laughs> <laughs> what is the highest level innate i don't know <laughs> no one what, what, what is that word you, you guys are saying <laughs> innate? Hi, <laughs> am I saying it right? <laughs> you don't mean the first two? <laughs> For defense, I'm going to go a little bit off the board and say serpent. Ooh. Nothing can quite match having a scaling area of effect defense in elemental ages. Yeah. It may not be the strongest shield, but it's definitely the widest. And it really shines on bigger boards. Serpent is perhaps the truest tank mm. in the game by being the most able to defend its teammates across the map. Couldn't agree more. I love that card. Yep. And as the invaders get stronger and have more damage coming at the land, more buildings built up, that card gets stronger. Oh, yeah. Yep. I mean, the spirit yep. gets stronger. No, I love Elemental Ages. Yep. For us, I think the record was defend eight in 14 lands. Huge. Incredible. <laughs> yeah, seriously, like, those numbers are insane. Right. And it is true that Downpour can also go and cast a net, just like what we just said. Yeah. You know? But that's 112 damage that you're covering. Like, what? <laughs> Like, dang, bro. Only Serpent can do that. Yeah. yeah. So, for Control, Finder, nobody holds a candle to it at Control. I love the little hummingbird a lot, even if thinking with portals can be hard. It can get tricky. Mm hmm. But portals are an unparalleled control tool, even without all the ability to push cities and invaders. Seriously, those adjacencies, man, they are insane. And they don't just help Finder. You can make things adjacent right. for other spirits, for other peeps. Yeah. And that is huge. For fear, I'm going with Bringer. I'm not a fear player, so I don't have a whole lot of expertise. But okay. Bringer seems to have the highest ceiling as a spirit that can drop 20 or 30 fear in a turn. But maybe Mist's more gradual fear can win out in the long run. So that's, I think, both of our more play style is the gradual fear. Yeah. Is the consistent four fear turn, right. five fear. And in our Sweden game, when we were able to use Dissolving Vapors with Power Storm, yeah. and then on the next turn, use it again because I re claimed to completely clear the land of all cities because I did three damage. All the fear that I got from those towns and cities was like 17 fear or something like yeah. that. That was 17 fear that Bringer can't get. Yeah, because they can't destroy. It is true that they can get bonus fear in other ways, but I'm just saying like that's a kind of fear. The fear from killing people that Mist still has access to. So yeah, no, you're correct. Everyone has certain kind of proficiencies. Sure. And even though they do have gradual fear, they have both gradual fear, fear from their cards, and they they can get fear from killing people. And plastics leaving the board, yep. which I always like. Yep. For utility, no doubt, Fractured Days. Nice. Every spirit in the game has a utility card. Fractured Days can make any of those utility cards happen too, three or even four times in a turn. And utility cards are designed to be the strongest ones in the game to encourage cooperation. True. Nothing can beat Fractured's ability to multiply utility to create insane power spikes. That is very true. The various craziness <laughs> that Fractured can do is unparalleled and it's comedic and it's awesome. And the applications to this craziness are many. So repeating power cards is actually something that you don't see on Fracture to other people. They can repeat their own stuff yes. with various cards, like Blur of the Arc of Years, it just says, hey, you can repeat this one. But you don't actually technically see the words Target Spirit may repeat a power card by paying its cost or something, like you would see perhaps maybe on Earth, Earth or maybe Downpour or something. Yeah. But 
<laughs> you have to squint. You gotta look a little closer. So, slip the flow of time. Their left and eight can get pretty wonky. Their middle tier with two sun, two moon. Target spirit may reclaim one power card from their discarded or played cards. So, say mm-hmm. Ryan just played Gift of Proliferation on someone. Mm-hmm. I just triggered slip the flow of time and say so you can now reclaim that card. Cool. Nice. Now you have it back in your hand. Hooray. And then, the last tier with three sun, two air. Target spirit may play a power card by paying its cost. Oh. Oh. Hey, wait a minute. <laughs> Is Gift of Proliferation back in your hand? Hey! Can you do have one energy to play that again? So <laughs> what's cool is Slip the Flow of Time essentially means that you can either A, get plus one card play to a friend. Yes. Or yourself. <laughs> or you can repeat a card for a friend. It, or it's a yourself. couple extra steps. <laughs> it's a flexible but ability. It, but as you can see, it's a little bit more involved. So it's not as straightforward or simple. No. So it would be like a man Manual transmission of a car versus an automatic one. Exactly. You got to do a little bit more work, but you can still get the exact same effect. What gets kind of loopy with Fractured is you may use this power, talking about their innates, mm-hmm. any number of times. Right. You just have to have the time to pay <laughs> the for time it. resource. Remember so, how we've talked about the fact that they are just crazy <laughs> and they can do silly, silly things? Say you have like six times stacked up and you're just like, you do card, you get this, you reclaim that, make yep, that fast, yep, do this, yep, extra yep. card. Oh, it's great. It's insane. This is how that silliness is actually manifested on the board. They like to conclude with, of course, it is worth noting more well-rounded spirits can be just as good or even better than this all-star team. Mm. Maybe River can't control like Finder, but they can do a lot of damage. Maybe Green can't quite outdo Fractured's utility, but it has way more consistent control and damage. All spirits have their place, but it was an interesting thought exercise to be sure. I keep seeing this. So like, oh yeah, I understand who's probably the best. Mm-hmm. But River checks more yep. boxes. Seriously, and ultimately, it all comes down to you. I like that. You know, and that's I think what's the coolest thing. We have all of these various things on the shelf. We have thirty-five spirits for you to choose from. Yes, but you're picking five, <laughs> and it's cool to see how everyone everyone's been different. Goes down yeah. various values into their mental factoring of why so and so made it on the list, but so and so didn't. And so I think it's just kind of fun to go through these processes. So thank you. I thought it was a fun exercise yes. to be sure as well. Thank I you, give Pendle all Moon credit Mark. to John for this fun. Uh, thank you. Thank you. It's mm. been fun and love reading yeah. the comments. Chuby Chub. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. I didn't get that name wrong. <laughs> Oh, you can't just say a name like that while I'm mid-drinking my Snapple. I didn't come up with their name. I almost died. <laughs> I, had a... I love it. I love oh, it. Chuby oh, Chuby Chub. Oh, Chuby Chub. <laughs> oh, that was funny. That was just good timing. Oh, it was okay. just the next one. It was just the next one to come up. It was up. just the next one? All right. Oh, I'm For... going to remember that name. <laughs> yeah, if Chuby Chub ever comments again, it's like, Chub-a-chub. you almost killed me, Chuby Chub. <laughs> you almost ended me. <laughs> They'll pay my medical you <laughs> will pay for my busted esophagus <laughs> for offense wildfire this mm. one speaks for itself yes moving on never mind i like this person <laughs> we're back on true <laughs> back on board that's right for control finder pretty clear design intent yep. oh yeah we've yep. all seen their summary totally. of powers for fear bringer five fear for city mm, pseudo destruction yeah no seriously it's nice if i win i win by fear victory yeah yep, yep. <laughs> makes yep. sense like i don't know if oh, cities yeah. are gonna be off the board for you <laughs> For defense, Rampant Green, my favorite spirit, Denial mm. is so strong. It's so good. Another yeah. thing people have been saying a lot. Yep. Yeah, the defense is good, yep. but Denial. The first time you play as Green and you see the power of Nope and the consistency what? of that Nope, what? it's like, oh. Like France, we're going to build four towns right. in this land. No, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> you sure not? Oh, it's so good. <laughs> it's so it's good. It's addicting. For utility, a nice, fun, rare one. Lightning. Ooh. Making powers fast it's just opens huge. doors. This especially one. Especially wind lightning. Yes. Wind lightning does it even more. That's true. Makes more people fast. Yep. But this one I'm the least sure of. I couldn't hear an argument for multiple. Okay. Oh, yeah. I like that the Utility has the most amount of up in the air. But I like choosing lightning. Making powers fast. It's another thing, kind of like green. You can't really measure its worth. Yeah. Like, was it that much better to move it a phase ahead? Right. It's hard to measure, but yeah. 
yeah, it could have prevented this. Mm-hmm. And one thing that's so great, especially about the utility category with this all-star list, this is true for all the categories, but especially for utility. It really comes down to just, what's your favorite? Mm. What do you really like? Do you like the craziness that Fracture can do, but you like the consistency of someone else? Because Fractured can kind of, blight every now and then. Because, and it can kind of like brain melt you. Right, it can brain melt you. What if you really like speed? Lightning all the way, fam. What if I need energy to play things? River all the way, fam. Boom. Wildfire all the way, fam. We Power even cards, see- hey, shifting memory, or even keeper. Bringer made our top five. Right. I mean, throwing out elements and right. looking at the fear deck? Mm-hmm. There you go. Mycin comes in and says, I think the whole point of All-Star Games is specifically to look at each member's individual abilities without regard to whether they make an effective team. If we are factoring in team dynamics, I think Serpent would at least be an honorable mention for the offensive role. Oh. With teammates to accelerate its growth and five spirits to dig through the minor deck for Elemental Boon, Tier 3 Serpent Rouses in Anger doesn't really have any competition for sheer offensive power. This is one of the rare mentions for Serpent in offense. Offense. I like that. I like it. Because it brings so much more to the table than just Mm -hmm. offense. Yes, their right and eight can go Mm -hmm. insane amounts of damage. Seriously. But that left and eight, so team buffy. Mm -hmm. Make people grow good power cards. It's amazing. If we are going by the categories on the spirit boards, though, Serpent would probably make more sense for the utility spot. Yeah, yeah. Given what its uniques and innates can do, I think it is easily as good at accelerating other spirits as green. And it's totally oriented in that direction from the very start. I think they just like Serpent. <laughs> yeah, I love Serpent. Serpent can literally be anything. Seriously. I, I, yeah. You have the economy with that character to be anything and to do it all. And when you're in the late game, it doesn't come with any takeaway ways. You just get to be this awesome without any drawbacks. The only drawback is time yeah. and taking a while just to get there. But it's true. You get green on that team along mm-hmm. with Downpour, Earth, mm-hmm. and Fractured who can let you repeat Gift to Proliferation four, five, six times. And then <laughs> you got this. Make sure that you're also copying Absorb Essence yeah. so that you can get that limit out of your way and you can just go ham. Here's my question. What's up? Like you're saying with their economy, they can kind of become any spirits and mm-hmm. just be sling and made around. Mm -hmm. How come they're not as, I wouldn't say hated, but they look down upon as much as Keeper? Because Keeper didn't make the fun five top five. I would say time, availability, and complexity. Okay. Keeper you can get in Branch and Claw. That's easier to get than promotional packs. Keeper isn't as high complexity as Serpent Serpent is. People might see that track, might see that simple, I start with one presence. I start with this strange mechanic. I have high complexity. Some people look at high complexity and they automatically go, nope, not for me, which is fine. Yeah. Well, I think people like Serpent better than Keeper. I do. Oh. (laughs) Serpent made our fun five top five. Keeper yeah. didn't. And Serpent made the list on these top five in the categories. Keeper didn't make one. It seems hmm. like Serpent's getting votes. I don't know. You know, I'm always happy to see Serpent love because personally, from my own eyes, I seldom see them spoken of or mentioned a That's lot. That's true. And we so, mentioned that in our fun five. Right. So Keeper will be easier to get. It's at a lower complexity. Yes. And the time thing can be really scary for people because they look at the starting thing and they look at the ending thing like, oh, this is great. Oh, wait, it's going to take me forever to get there. Take some and time. I have to absorb people's presence. That sounds mean. First off... Thankfully, it's not nearly as bad as it sounds. But you can understand how that can be scary, though. Like, when you read that, you're like, oh, no, absorbing presence. No! It's cool to see serpent love, though. Like you are saying. Yes, very much so. Aubrey sucks. Oh. (laughs) Does she? (laughs) (laughs) Or he, whatever. (laughs) That's the name. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Family show. <laughs> Aubrey sucks comes okay. in to say. There are some great answers here. The funny thing is, in my opinion, the clear MVP is Keeper of the Fred Britain Wilds, which it doesn't excel in any particularly one of these categories, but right. I can't imagine a team without it. Mm. That's interesting point of view. We we're kind of just talking about this with Serpent Keeper. It's just like mm-hmm. Keeper hasn't been voted on, even in our adversary list, very high in the top fives of those right. or in the fun five, but Keeper is regarded as the best spirit in the game. Mm-hmm. It's interesting. 
Red Red Wine comes in and says, I'm going to take a slightly different approach to this all-star list than just X Spirit is best at this. I like different approaches. So do I. An all-star team should have synergy and be able to pivot into multiple strategies. I'm sorry, I thought we were reading from Red Red Wine. Ryan, stop just talking from your script. You're just... <laughs> Let Red Wine talk. Fine, you found my agent. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> For instance, Bowden is great at generating fear. However... It needs help dealing damage. Mm. In my mind, this is weakening the attack and control of other spirits on the team. Oh. I am also imagining a five-player game. Okay. Don't worry. Five categories, five players. They have set the table. I understand yep. where they're coming from. For offense, Ocean is great at dealing damage on the coast. Yes. With five players, they have easy access to 15 lands, meaning Woof. they will be able to keep pace with other spirits. That's a great point. The main reason they make my list is the power boost they give to control spirits attack as they can now drown invaders with push actions. And we've just spoken on that so often. Yep. It turns controllers into attackers. It buffs them up. Yep. yep. For defense... Trickster is not a classic defender, but their access to strife tokens is second to none with the ability to push out four or more strife a turn by late game. Yeah. Trickster wins out here over Stone as by late game, Stone has lots of blight on the board that limits targeting on lots of cards. It's true. That's a good point. Didn't There's think a that. plethora of cards that require you to not have blight. And like we talked with the domino effect, you could have a cascade after cascade right. after cascade. Right. With and Stone. if you're playing with Serpent, Keeper, or Fangs, they're not going to be able to coexist with you. Great They're point. not going to like that. For control, Finder is the premier spirit in this slot. Yep. Pushing cities, teleporting to problem areas, enough said. Having access to drowning means they will have a stronger early to mid game. That is so true. You can yep. drown things into the ocean. You just lose presence, but yep. you can spare yep. some of those. Yep. And that is something that's important to know. Responsibilities of the dead will trigger if you push them into the drain. I know. Kind of a downside. Probably but... already knew that, but just clarifying. Yep. For fear, many minds does not produce the most fear of any spirit, but the fear it does generate, which is still very good, yeah. is done in a safe way, i.e. there will not be substantial invader buildup while generating that fear. Oh. Bowden can generate more fear, but fills the board with invaders and makes it all but impossible to hit a level two or three fear victory. Mist would be the other choice for this slot, but feeding fear from damage invaders is unreliable. Solid points. I definitely agree with many minds. Oh my goodness. Consistent. The fear generation that they can have is not just very good. It is insanely oh, yeah. good. And it's ridiculously good. Yes, they don't start with offensive powers, but you're not limited to not killing. You can just right. pick those up in the miners' right. nature deck. Seriously. You can pick up sea monsters that Laura mm -hmm. always does somehow mm -hmm. and just wipe everything out. Right. When it comes to mists, one thing that I just like to remind people is that the whole fear from people that are still alive is one third of your fear income. Mm -hmm. Your first third is keeping people alive. Yes. The second third would be actually killing people. Yes. And the third third is the actual fear from your card. Just from the card. So no, it's true that 100% of their fear won't look so great when you're thinking that all the fear that this character is giving you is from their famous thing. Don't forget they have a ton of fear on their cards. Oh yeah. <laughs> and hey, let's just go ahead and this land is going to be a problem next turn well all i need to do is have one bad guy siphoned so i can just move in do one damage there's my next land so if there's a bunch of people in there and if you're playing the way that i do yes all your buildings are always kept at one health so that you have the pistol at the back of their head metaphorically and the moment they're going to be a problem again cap them the turn before move on how many people did i just cap sometimes i cap three cities bam i mean six uh, fear moving on in our so, sweden <laughs> game you can wipe out a land right boating can't do that the thing with mist and this will just be the last thing because I don't want to like okay. completely derail the thing. The thing with Mist, don't think of yourself as someone who has to keep the same bad guy alive from start to finish. Think of yourself like a farmer who has a crop and the crop has a season and it gets reaped mm. in a certain season. This crop is done. The yield is now at its fullest. Cut it. Move on. Wetlands Sow are coming up. seeds yep. elsewhere. There we go. Move on to another crop. Procure that crop. Milk as much fear as you can. Now Jungles is coming up. Okay, it's ready to reap. Bam. Cut it. Move on to the next there one. There we go. So anyway, I'll get off my missed soapbox. <laughs> For utility, green is the best choice for this spot. Mm. It can prevent builds and ravages, destroy invaders, and accelerate slower spirits. So they're saying that prevention is utility in a way. I Honestly. mean, you can grow pretty far away mm -hmm. just to a jungle of wetland. You can do everything. So fast, yeah. Oh, you can great. do everything. 
After putting my all-star team together, I realized that three of my choices work purely because of synergy. <laughs> Maybe for a future episode, you can cover the best synergy between spirits in the game. <gasps> Tier lists of spirits are done all the time. Tier lists of pairings and trios, eh, not so much. Huh? <laughs> well, did you listen to episode 39? <laughs> <laughs> my list was dripping with dripping synergy. with synergy. Every single combo. But no, I agree with you. I think tier lists are done all the time. Overdone. Mm -hmm. And it just turns into a food fight of like, no, how could you think this? The spirit's better than that. So, the, oh boy, I'm on the cusp of like a seven hour conversation with this next comment, but I'll make it quickly. <laughs> General tier lists are kind of silly. I prefer tier lists about specifics. Okay. Tier lists against France. Tier lists against who's good against Sweden. Yes. Tier list against scenarios. General things, it's like, <laughs> because there's so many variables. Especially with this game. Yep. But whatever, like we said, that'll be for a future time. Like, I could think Finder's S tier, and mm -hmm. Ryan just is like, well, here's France. I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I need to get yep. out of town. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> S tier, no longer. <laughs> All right. Plaid Viking 62. Oh. Offense, Heart of the Wildfire. Yes. I know. <gasps> Defense, Stone. Mm. Control. Finder. Mm -hmm. Utility. Shifting memory. Like it. I like shifting memory. I thought they would yeah. come up more. I kind of thought so too, but I'm content with how often we're Yeah, and them. they made yeah. the top five. Mm -hmm. And then fear. Many mimes move as one. Their defense for all this. Lots of defense, mm -hmm. offense, and so much fear synergy. Seriously. That is a lot. Yeah. Good fear. Chuck comes in to say. Good old Chuck. Hey, Chuck. <laughs> hey, Chuck. I'll take my shot at the All-Star team. Mm -hmm. However, this is without the Jagged Earth expansion. Oh, that's actually really good to know. <laughs> that is good to know because that is like right. poof, 10 spears gone. <laughs> right, 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 right. All right. For fear, Bringer is an obvious choice, but mm -hmm. if we're going for an all-star team, I'd actually choose Ocean. This keeps coming mm. up. I think for the small difference in fear generation, you also gain so much more power and game-clinching opportunities yeah. that Bringer no, true. simply can't compete with. Yeah, it's yeah, you have point. access to great offense. Great offense, some defense, and team utility. Fear. Yeah, yeah, great fear. For offense, without Jagged Earth, it's got to be Thunderspeaker. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Keeper. Even with Jagged Earth, yeah, you can argue true. You can <laughs> Be like, yeah, I, I couldn't argue with her. <laughs> Keeper is an honorable mention, but Thunderspeaker has so much firepower early on when mm -hmm. it really matters. Mm -hmm. That is true. If you're playing Keeper, like you've said, Ryan, not the broken way, the intended way, yeah. Keeper's kind of slow. Definitely. Takes time. Right. And you can get into a corner too, because it's not easy to spread presence. And if you're blighting because you're missing out on opportunities, mm -hmm. then you can't spread as much. Right. And that's one thing that's really interesting with Keeper. It's easier to make sacred sites than it is to place one presence out there. Isn't that weird? Isn't that kind of weird? Interesting take. But yeah, Thunder Spear can just go like turn one, manifestation, power, and glory. Blam. Blam. Yep. Up. Control. Finder. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> okay, they're a promo pack. They're a promo pack. Interdimensional <laughs> access, right? Like they're Well, I was just like, wait, I thought they didn't have Jagged Earth. <laughs> but promotional pack too. Promotional pack too. <laughs> Being able to teleport cities is hilarious, but also both strategically and thematically important. Seriously. <gasps> Imagine people's reactions going to sleep in the mountains and waking up in the jungle, laughing, crying emoji. <laughs> <laughs> and with Ocean the Game, you can sub in River oh, yeah. oh, uh, yeah. for control. Yep. <gasps> Defense. In the base and branch and claw plus promotional packs, it has to go to downpour. Mm. While I find defensive spirits boring for me, this one is fast and yeah. has amazing blight removal and games Seriously. can vary in a fun way depending on what miners you pull. Seriously. No, because you can really spam any card, whether that's a fear card or a blight removal card. Whatever you pick or up. offense maybe. Yeah. Or something. Control. Like, mm -hmm. And you go here and then I push you here and then mm -hmm. I push you there. Utility. Green and it's not even even close. <laughs> Canceling enemy actions and accelerating your team's growth is just too powerful. It's awesome. I think Serpent, if it could awaken two turns earlier, perhaps balance with less end game power, they might have an argument, but still a stretch. Like you were saying, Ryan, you said this, people sometimes are wary of Serpent because of that slowness. It's a big deal. When you build into it and you have the team that can compensate, yes. you got to commit to it to make it worth it. You have to like almost commit to Serpent, but then they're booning you. Yep. They're helping you out. It's a fun experience. It is if you fun. haven't been on a team like that, it's like roid ridden snake, mm -hmm. steroid snake, yeah. and you just completely expedite them. I think it's a fun experience to try at least once. I like Serpent games because it yeah. is fun to boost up Serpent and to get them 
them to that highest well, level of innate. It's kind of like what we said before. When you help someone, their success is kind of your own. And you get the satisfaction yeah. of watching them go ham, but you also know that they went that ham because of you. Because of me. And so it's, it's in all, the back of your mind, yeah. like, I helped you get to that Right, point. you're like this benefactor, and you get to see your protege just go Or right like a out. proud parent watching yeah. your son score yep. or something. Yeah. Good stuff, Chuck. Good stuff, Chuck. <laughs> And what kind of list would it be if we didn't conclude with Mr. Wolf? Hey, Mr. Yeah. Wolf! I hope up? you don't mind that you're like thoroughly established as our caboose every time. <laughs> but it's tradition now. It's tradition. That's it's right. kind of where the comments all end right. up sometimes. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Since it's all stars, there's obviously one answer. We. For offense, Starlight seeks its form. For control, Starlight seeks its form. Well, uh, and for fear, Starlight seeks its form. Wait. Oh, but for defense, Starlight seeks its form. <laughs> and then for utility, Starlight seeks its form. Or Factor Days. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to say it with like the same tone it, the, of voice. Yeah, the same inflection. <laughs> My thing is, I can't argue with any of those. I'd be like, no, it'd oh, be yeah, totally they fine. Be I'd actually defensive. love to see a five player game with all five Starlights. I want to do it. I want to do it. I want to see My brain just like. exploded. I know. Have you ever played Smash Bros where you have like nine Ganon doors? Ganon, 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 Ganon. Ganon, Ganon, Ganon. Get it, get it, get it. Get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and they all laugh. <laughs> Just kidding. Or not, smiley the face. This could actually work pretty great. <laughs> I think it probably could. Starlight and Fractured Days, heart emoji. That cosmic duo can pull great yeah. plays out there. Cheese. It's awesome. Yep. Huge cheese. Uh, fine, we can't repeat spirits. If we can't, then I'd go with this fun combo right. instead. Here we go. For offense, Starlight Six. <laughs> wait, wait a second. <laughs> <laughs> what is this deja vu? I've seen this movie. <laughs> this is a major power build oh, Starlight Seeks is So form. going after those high yeah. energy games. Yep. If you can, take any beast attacking card. Okay. Otherwise, just go steadily into your powerful mid-late game. You can help anyone, especially Fangs, mm. with Boon of Reimagining, so that they can spam the bottom track and a lot of card play. You can also ignore any devastating early ravages. I do like that card. Yes, Peace in the Nighttime Sky. Peace in the Nighttime. Sky. Oh, so great. For control, bringer of dreams and nightmares. Wait, what? Yes, bringer for control. You what? heard that correctly. Naturally controlling and goes well with a beast support build. Mm. But you can also go for some skipping or you can spread out so that you can help your teammates. Better to focus on control and utility because fear will come naturally. So this is interesting. And we did have some bringer get some votes. Yeah. Mr. Wolf wasn't Seriously, the only they one. they can hand out elements. Yeah. That's big. Seriously. And, and the control, yes, mm -hmm. you are pushing after you quote unquote mm -hmm. destroy something. For fear, sharp fangs behind the leaves. Ooh. Yes. This is uncommon. I, I love it. No. They can help with damage, control, or full-on fear. Checks on so many boxes. Usually go for call forth predators and ranging hunt build and go bottom track. Mm -hmm. Don't focus on what your miners do, but focus on elements. So going after plant, animal, fire, those yeah, type of... Yeah, that kind of thing. Okay. Yep. For defense, many minds move as one. I like this because it pairs well with Sharp Fang. Yeah. Focus on defense. You'll get enough fear naturally. I am loving this team so far. Okay. A major focus Starlight with trying to pull cards that have beasts. Right, beast. and you have Bringer, Sharp Fangs, and many minds. That's so much fear. This is like an outcast team. I dig Ooh. it. Even Starlight can get after fear. Uh-huh. One of their nates. So far, every single character here has access to good fear. Yeah, this would be a quick fear victory game, I think. Mm -hmm. For utility, I think you should choose according to your adversary. Oh. So, of the various kind of utility characters, you got Shifting Memory, Stone, or Fractured Days. Okay. In Shifting Memory's case, go for Starlight's elements and defense. Mm. Shifting Memory has the best mid game and can transition into majors. Yes. It's weak early if you don't get the right powers, of course, but you can also help with majors for other people early on. Okay. In Stone's Unyielding Defiance's case, you want to postpone till the end of the game and or you need easy explosion prevention early. They're the weakest late game, but there will at least be a late game. One of the few people to vote for stone as for a utility. utility. Yeah, keeping people alive. Very good, very powerful. And in Fractured Days Split the Skies case, that's the Chad spirit. <laughs> Amazing for when you think about playing Spirit Island and right until you fall asleep knowing you won your game. <laughs> 
Really depends on if you have a player who knows what to do with fractured days. Days can be tricky. <laughs> I could definitely agree with that. This team build is insane and actually really well-rounded for any adversary. You start with a safe early game. Mm -hmm. Only shifting memory is actually the weakest in the early game here. Where you can control and defend a lot. Yes. So you can develop beasts. Wilds also works wonders here. Then you can focus on buffing Sharp Fang so that they can do their thing. Or you go for the plan A of buff up your young all starlight ah! get it all star starlight okay. all starlight oh, oh. wait what <laughs> so they can wreck house wow i do like the synergy you won't lack anything and you have a lot of proactive and reactive mm. powers so you can easily fight bad luck with elements or bad luck with the invader deck mm. and all spirits except for sharp fangs are very resistant to blight and bad effects if you're not sure if you can win against something very hard, go for stone so they can give you more time. That's a good point. Don't focus on fear with Bringer and you're golden. You already have a lot of fear with this team already. This is a pretty difficult team to play with though. Since all the spirits and builds except stone and memory require a lot of game knowledge and spirit knowledge. So you have to have experienced players sure. to yep. kind of figure out the synergy of like, oh, if I pull this, this works well with sharp fangs. That's totally fair. That's yep. fine. But the thing is, is since the game is so good you're going to want to get better at the game anyway yeah. so that's gonna be a natural byproduct of playing this amazing game anyway this was one of our few beast focused all-star yeah, teams i like it i liked it too and every single one of those peeps can do really good fear like if you went with shifting memory oh yeah combined with many minds sharp fangs bringer and starlight that's like all of them can do fear especially if shifting is throwing out elements so you can get those fear innates at higher mm -hmm. levels oh that's it's fantastic this is a very strong team yep. And there you go. <gasps> Was that all of them? There concludes the All-Star Series. What'd you think, Ryan? Looking that back. That was a lot of fun. Wasn't what it? What a fun little exercise that was. Because. Thank I, you. Oh, no problem. It's yeah. fun to go back and forth and come Have up with ideas. to just like, you know what? This is an interesting thing. We'll see what this happens. Yeah, it's a fun exercise. I think we were wary to be like, what if people do to say the same thing? Right. You know, what if everyone just says right. Thunder Speaker all the time? Right. But the thing is, is that's totally fair when you consider what are they going for? They're yeah. going off of synergies for some, no synergies for others, preferential builds with here, preferential builds there, preferential builds with what they have, the players, what yeah. they have. They don't have this expansion or that one. What or they're this good at. I know Finders what they're good, good at. but I like right. River better. Right. I like seeing all the reasons behind the numbers that we looked at last time. The inner workings inside their head yeah. of like what type of player yeah, they are. Yeah, we saw the finished product, but now we got to see the gears. And that's why I do like reading these and seeing how players play this game and mm -hmm. use spirit and I'm like, oh, I can connect with this listener or mm -hmm. commenter because I also play the spirit that way. Or right. like, oh, this made me think of the spirit in New Light. I didn't think of Bringer as utility, but now right. I see it more. Right. Like stuff like that's so cool. Right on. So I hope you guys didn't mind this series going a little bit longer than anticipated. That honestly, genuinely was not intended. No. We thought it was going to be a one or two. One thing. offer, like maybe right. two. Maybe. maybe two. And then we got to doing the first one. Like, oh no. <laughs> but I mean, it is in part due to the great feedback we got. Seriously. From everyone. Yep. So that's And once awesome. again, there are more comments on here than what we read off. Of. Yeah. Totally go look at all of them. See the different builds. Yeah. It's really cool. Get some ideas. Get inspired. Get creative. <laughs> Have fun. That's right. Come up with your own team. Yeah. And feel free to comment on these things, even though the survey has technically been done, because there are a lot of comments, a lot of surveys of ours that still get feedback even after the episode has long aired and we've moved on. Just because we have done the episode that that poll was connected to doesn't mean that that whole line of thought had to stop either. We never move on from no. good input and good social interactions with the player base. Because not everyone is going to listen to each each episode the week it comes out sure people might stumble upon this right. later or i don't have time to listen to it this week right so they listen another week and they'll be like i want to be a part of the conversation yeah i think people are still talking about brandberg prussia still yeah and that's great we love it right being able to strategize and meet new people and talk about this game is what we're going for with these right so with all that said i look so much forward to our next episode where we get into scotland the scots we got some fun things to discuss y'all it's gonna be great and another epic game. It was. So, until that time, we will catch you guys on the proverbial flippity flip. Peace out! <laughs> and check the Discord, the new one! <laughs> the new and the improved! Improved! <laughs>
We appreciate you taking the time to do so. Feel free to visit us on our Instagram and Facebook page. You can find me on our Facebook page at The Kindred Spirit Podcast. To get a hold of John, check out our Instagram page at the KSP123. We look forward to hearing from you and seeing you in future episodes.